aerobic respiration, the very basics. So the best place to start is to learn the word equation and then the balanced equation. They're asked frequently at higher and ordinary levels, so learn them. So aerobic respiration is a two-stage process. Stage one is called glycolysis and it means the splitting of glucose. Where does this stage take place? It happens in the cytosol of the cell, the liquid part of the cytoplasm. Is oxygen involved in this stage? No, oxygen plays no role in glycolysis. So we start with glucose, a six carbon molecule, and at the end of glycolysis, we have it split into two three carbon molecules of pyruvic acid. So forming these pyruvic acid molecules involved the removal of pairs of hydrogen atoms. Hydrogen atoms contain electrons and protons, and these go to form NADH, that molecule that transfers electrons and protons. So you remember, go back and revise NAD+, how it combines with two electrons and a proton to form NADH. There's only a net gain of two ATP in glycolysis, not much energy made. So we have pyruvic acid, this three carbon molecule. There are two of them, but we'll just discuss one. And if there is oxygen present, it will enter stage two. Oxygen is essential. Where does stage two take place? It takes place in the mitochondria of the cells, the powerhouses. So each one of these pyruvic acid molecules is going to be immediately broken down into a two carbon molecule called acetyl-CoA. This happens by removing a carbon dioxide and also a pair of hydrogen atoms. Those hydrogen atoms, remember, contain electrons and protons and they get picked up to form NADH. So acetyl-CoA, this two carbon molecule, now enters into this cycle of reactions known as Krebs cycle or the citric acid cycle. And I know students really don't like this, so let's make this very simple. Acetyl-CoA joins with a four carbon molecule and makes a six carbon molecule. And the whole cycle is about breaking down that six carbon molecule to get back to the four carbon molecule. This happens by removing carbon dioxides two of them, and also pairs of hydrogen atoms. The removal of hydrogen atoms is really important because they contain electrons and protons, and they get picked up by NAD plus to form NADH. So one of the most important products of Krebs cycle are the NADH molecules that are made. They're really important. There's not much energy made in Krebs cycle, only one ATP and the associated water molecule. So what can you say happens to the acetyl-CoA? Well, it eventually gets converted to water and carbon dioxide, a previous exam question, so know that. The products of Krebs cycle are three NADH molecules, one ATP and the two carbon dioxide molecules. So we're still in stage two. And remember, stage two is taking place in the mitochondria of the cells. So don't forget that. So all of stage two is in the mitochondria. And this part, the last part, deals with the electron transport chain. So NADH transfers electrons and protons, and it transfers the electrons to the electron transport chain. This is a series of molecules, and the electrons pass from molecule to molecule over this chain, and as they do, they release energy, and some of this energy is used to make ATP. Some of it's lost as heat also. At the end of this process, the now low energy electrons combine with protons and oxygen to form water, really important. Don't forget that NADH, once it transfers the electrons and protons, reverts to NAD+. So now, if you are comfortable with the topic and you know all about stage one, pause the video and see if you can answer these exam questions. After this, then move on to stage two. These are sometimes more tricky, but they're really straightforward. Pause the video and see if you can answer these questions. So once you've done that, you should know most of what happens in aerobic respiration. So the best way to practice is to do exam papers and to use your textbook.